We have mentioned that for every primitive type that we have in Java, there is also a corresponding wrapper class. For example, for the int type, we have the integer class. And we have said that those wrapper classes have many useful methods that can operate on the corresponding type. So, if you remember, the integer class, for instance, has the parse int method. It's a good time to go and uh, review the API for the wrapper classes and take a look again at those methods that are available to you and they are very useful in dealing with types. In a very similar way, there is one more class, the arrays class, which has many useful methods when dealing with arrays. These methods, in exactly the same way as with wrapper classes, they are all static, they are class methods, which means that we don't need to create arrays, um, an arrays, an object of the arrays class. We can just use the class name arrays dot and then the method name and use them. You will see some examples here. We will mention a couple of or a few more of these methods uh, so that you get an idea of what kind of things they are capable of doing. But again you're strongly encouraged to go and take a look at the Java API for the Arrays class so that next time you need to do something with Arrays you have an idea of what kind of things are already implemented for you and you don't have to find out how to do them. The examples you will see on this slide always deal with Arrays of type double but as you will see when you go and check the Java API you'll find out that there are not only for this type, but also for many other types, uh, similar methods. There is a binary search method. What does that method do? It will search whether a particular value is included in a particular uh, array. There is a copy off method, which is a very useful method. When you want to copy the elements of one array to the other, you, you could definitely do it by writing a loop yourselves and copying everything from one to the other. However, there is already a method that does that for you. And always, when there is a Java library method, it is preferred that you use it. It is much more likely that it will be more efficient than the code that you will write, and for sure, it will be tested much more extensively by many more programmers that have been using that uh, method for a while. Unless you have a very good reason to write your own code for something that is already implemented in the Java library, you are very strongly recommended to use the Java library method. So the copy off method will copy the elements of one array to the other up to the length that you will specify. You can not only copy from the beginning up to a certain element, but you can actually say, do not start for copying from the beginning, start from element 7 until uh, this particular element that I will say, 21. You can copy a range of values. The equals method, which is a very, very useful method, as you probably expect, because we have encountered another very useful equals method. Remember? How did we check for string equality? We are using string1 dot equals parenthesis string2. This time with the arrays dot equals we will supply both of the arrays that are to be compared in the parenthesis as arguments. It will return true only if the arrays have exactly the same elements in exactly the same order. So if the arrays have the same length and then at the corresponding uh, index, they have exactly the same. They have equal elements. Now, as we have said with references, arrays are references, this method is not the way to check whether two array references are actually referencing exactly the same array object. If we want to do that, we will still use the double equals operator to figure out if they are uh, referencing the same object. The arrays.equals will only tell if the objects are equal, not that they are the same object. You can take a further look into the 
API of the Arrays class and find out what similar methods like the deep equals method do and also what is the behavior of the method when the arrays are null. The arrays.fill method. Take this array, take that value and fill the array at every position with this specific value. Arrays.short. Sorting is uh, a very useful uh, process in many different problems. It is very handy to already have uh, a method that does that for us. It will sort the elements of the array into ascending or order. And finally, uh, the arrays dot to string it will return a string representation of the array that we supply as argument.